Hi everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to select feature in QGIS. So as you can see in the map display, I'm having few layers, point, line and polygon layers. So let us see how to select the features in QGIS. So on the top, you can find this selection toolbar from here to here, sorry, from here to here. So if you don't find this toolbar in the toolbar panel, you just have to right click on this empty space and under the toolbar section you can find the option selection toolbar you just have to enable the selection toolbar after that it will be available so now you can see the first option select features now click on the down arrow and you can find the option you can find around four options available so first uh, let us choose the select features by selecting the the tool you can directly click on the point you can select it so you can see while selecting the points has been highlighted it is highlighted in the yellow color so i have chosen point that is why i that is why i could select the point file alone i couldn't select the polygon file because i have chosen only the point file over here if you want to choose the polygon file you have to select it after that you need to click on this polygon likewise you can do so let me come back to the points now in order to select multiple points you have to use the shift button hold the shift button and click on the individual points or you can draw a box like this by pressing the left click long long click on the left click and you can uh, draw a box like box like this you can select features or by directly clicking on the point you can select the features likewise you can select the features in order to deselect the selected features you can find the option over here deselect feature from all layer you can use that so the selected feature will be deselected you can also use the same technique for selecting the line first we have to select the line file over here after that you can select the line file one by one like this or you have you can use the shift you have to hold the shift button and you can select the multiple lines like this you can select same rules rules is been followed in the polygon also you can select the polygon by clicking on it if you want to select multiple you need to hold the shift button and you can select the polygons so likewise you can do so now we just uh, just move to the next options which are available once again click on this uh, down arrow now you can find the option select feature by polygon here you can select the feature by drawing polygons let me select the well location so now i can draw a polygon by left clicking you can see on a each uh, left click you can just shape the polygon like this you can draw the polygon after finishing the polygon you just have to right click on it for digitizing we are going to use left click for completing after completing we need to use the right click so that you can see the points which is falling inside the polygon will be selected let me show you once here i am going to draw a polygon by using the left click left click i am using the left click and for completing it use the right click so you can see these features has been selected so these three features is following in the polygon so that is why these features has been selected you can just use the same thing for selecting the uh, polygons over here click down the polygons now just draw draw the polygon selection by using the left click left uh, mouse left key and after that for finishing use the mouse right click you can see this feature has been highlighted same same thing follows for the line as well just draw a polygon 
you can see it has been highlighted now let us go to the next option where you can find select feature by freehand so we are going to select the feature by freehand you just have to let me show you with the polygon now we just have to left click once and just move your cursor you don't have to do anything you don't have to click and all you just have to move the cursor the shape will be traced and for completing it just click uh, just uh, once left click on it so automatically you can see the polygon which is falling inside the sh uh, freehand shape which you have drawn has been selected likewise let me show you another example so we are using the freehand tool so for example use the left click once after that you just have to move the cursor you can draw it for any shape you can draw any shape for ending it once again use the left click so you can see these three features has been selected so finally we are going to use another option for selection for selection once again click on this down arrow you can find the option select feature by radius now you just have to click once in the map and after that you can move your cursor up or down as this circle will be formed so based on your interest or based on the radius you can see the uh, selection radius in the right hand side corner so for example i am uh, okay with this uh, circle radius just uh, left click once automatically the uh, features which is falling inside this circle will be selected as you can see let me show you another example so now in this case i am going to use the line as an example and here i am going to draw an another circle just uh, left click once and just move the cursor up or down so i am enter i am done with this radius uh, once again uh, left click on this so you can see these two roads has been selected so now you can see this file has been selected you can also open the attribute of this line file and you can just check it so there are around four roads which are available so i am select i have selected two uh, roads after selecting it in the map you can see it has also been selected in the attributes you can just check over here you can see it has been selected in the attribute as well in the point case let me show you another example so once again uh, left click and you can draw a circle with the desired radius now once again left click on it to complete it so now you can see the points has been selected if you select the point uh, right click on it and open the attributes you can find that the selected point and the map is been also highlighted in the attributes that you can check here you can just check check over here this has been highlighted in the map and it has been also selected in the attributes here in the show all features you can customize it for example show selected feature alone you can just have a look at the selection selected features likewise so now let me close this so now i am going to show you another uh, thing for example let me take take as an example you can see the polygon file over here and uh, let me select the polygon file over here and select the features which has been previously selected now i am going to use this select picture once again so i am going to select this polygon over here you can use this option zoom to selection you can just see the selected feature will be zoomed so you can also use this option for example let me take this well location and let me select this well 
and now I want to zoom into the well. You can use this option, zoom to selection. So it will be automatically zoomed to the selected feature. Likewise, you can do. So that is also available in the attributes also. Let me show you that. Open attribute table. Here you can, at the top you can find zoom map to the selected rows. For example, if I am selecting this file, and now hit the button, zoom to the selected rows. Now you can see it has been automatically zoomed to the selected rows. Likewise, you can do, for example, if you take SL45, I, I need to zoom into the layer, zoom into the particular uh, point, use this option, zo uh, zoom map to the selected rows. So it will be automatically selected. You can just check over here. Likewise, you can do, now let me zoom to the layer. Okay. So what, are, what is the use of this selection file? For example, let me take this as an example. If you are selecting few points over here, for example, you need this uh, point. Okay. Yeah. You will need this uh, well location by holding the shift button. I am I need this well location. I need this well location and I need this well location. So here for this well, I need to customize and I need to highlight it differently because it is a bore well. So for example, I need to uh, create a attribute field for it and I need to specify it as a bore well. Now once again, click uh, right click on this well location and go to the option open attribute table. Here you can see the selected layers. You can also customize it by using the option show selected layer alone. Now let me use the toggle editing and I, I, I need to give it give this as bore well. So how to do that? So for that I am uh, using the toggle editing. So I have selected these features that, that is coming under bore well and now you can see we are going to use the open field calculator. Here we are going to create a field called as well type and I am going to use text. Let me give the field length as 20. In the expression you can use bore well. and hit the button OK. Now you can see that the selected feature alone will be changed. It has been changed to bore well. So likewise you can do. A lot of things can be done. And you can also by selecting the feature you can uh, export it into a separate layer. For example, I have selected this much of features. This much of features. 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, there are some more files. If you have to zoom in, zoom in deeply to get it. So now I have selected few files, and how to? I'm, I'll be showing you how to export it alone. You can directly export the selected files. Now let me hit the save layer edits, and let me select the toggle editing. Now you can. Right click on this layer and you can use the option export and save feature as and you can select the formats. There are a lot of formats available in QGIS. You can you can uh, export it in any any format which is uh, which you are looking in. So here I am going to use the ESRI shape file. You can give name for example the very type it is a bore well. So let me give bore well. And you can select the projection for this layer. If you want, you can select the projection. And sorry, I have given the file name, but I haven't uh, browsed to the location where it has to be saved. Oh, yeah. Now, okay. So we have selected. If you want, you can select the projection. You can change the projection by using this function, using this uh, button. And uh, use the button OK to finish it up. So now you can just see.
so now you can see here <laughs> the feature which we haven't selected is also come up so I have made a mistake over here so let me do it once so just me uh, let me check the attributes and you can see here it has been uh, correct now let me close it and disable this borewell file now you can see these uh, selected features once again uh, right click on it and you can find the option export now we have to use the same option save feature as and we are going to give the name for it borewell Yeah. Now you can see the option in the bottom save only the selected features. We just have to enable it. So that is the mistake which I have done. So now click OK. So now you can see only this file has been brought up. The selected file has only been exported. Just click on this selected file that is a exported file and open the option attribute table now you can see only the selected file has been exported let me change the symbology let me select this one and reduce the size to 3 apply and ok so now you can see the selected feature has been exported successfully you can just check in the selected feature has been successfully exported likewise you can do a uh, lot of things using the selection toolbar so if you have any doubts in this please do ask in the comment section i will be answering to your questions thanks for watching goodbye everyone